Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS. These are the men that taught me the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquats, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shakala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do a quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shemir Al Shai. Now, coming into this truth, one of the first things that I learned was that the so called white man, Esau Edom, is the devil. And the more I grow in this truth, the more I get to see and the more I get to understand that truly this man is the devil. And really, our words are not even enough to explain how deep this thing is. Esau, the so-called white man that's in power today, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay? Now, I'm going to read a quick scripture and I'll play a short video that I have on deck. This is the book of John chapter 8 verse 44. Salakia. He quotes, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now, this is this is a very great um how should I put it? This is a very good characteristics of the devil mind you and the church people will be expecting to see a man actually with horns like this with the with the with the, with the snake tongue you know excuse me please okay people will be expecting um a, a red a red devil in which you know the white so-called white man is real color is red you know but he doesn't present himself with horns and you know the the, the forked tongue you know but we we do this illustration you know to just show you that the image of of you know yahweh shai that the world ignorantly calls jesus that's been put out there is a false image you know that's why we're showing you that the image right there is the image of the devil himself the so-called white man is the devil okay and we can't we can't lay that much emphasis on this and one of the great characteristics that we just read in that scripture is he is a liar a liar and there is no one on the face of the earth that lies as much as esau edom the so-called white man in power this man lies about everything every damn thing you know if he shows you something you better question you better pray to the most high yahweh shimia Shai to give you eyes to see further because this man is a liar, is a born liar. He lives and he rules by lies, proper propaganda, you know, hides your real identity, embraces your identity, becomes you and makes you become himself. You know, this is how this man has been ruling for all this while, you know. So we're not just here, you know, trying to scream, he saw is the is the devil or whatever, because you know. The scriptures people don't still understand especially those who are going into the churches when they see the word devil they don't go to the root word to understand it means diabolos and you see it is a metaphor applied to a man who by opposing the cause of the most High, may be said to act the part of the devil to side with him and that man that's been spoken of is the so-called white man that's in power now I'm not saying this to, to, to take away the fact that amongst our people, Israel, which the real Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latino, for the major part, then we have Israelites who are spread to all different parts of the world. 
Slakia, looking like every various nation they find themselves. Also looking like the so-called white man, you know? Amongst our people, we have also wicked, just like written in the book of Jeremiah. Amongst our people are wicked people as well, who have taken those attributes of the so-called white man, you know, as sold out celebrities, you know, that they, they're all in service to push the wickedness of this man because this man he can be in power only doing that and it was permitted him by the most high Shai. now let me play this video it's just an example to show you that you don't you can't trust in this man you know everything he does is lie 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 you know he's a liar and that's that's one of the one of the most important attributes you should watch out from people you know this is the attribute of the devil hey salakia just really tired coming back from the plantation and you know i've been yawning man so anyway let's play this video and check it out like you picked up that bit of weight jeremy dropped jada i love you gi jane too can't wait to see it all right now oh, what's this Elijah taking the stage. Richard! <laughs> oh! Wow! <laughs> oh, wow! Elijah Lewis just slapped the heck out of me. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Don't you ever talk about my wife that way! Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I don't believe in nothing I see on TV anymore. I feel like everything in the industry is staged. I feel like everything on the news is staged. I feel like the relationships they be having is fake. But what does that tell y'all? I don't know, that's a little iffy. Angela. And that's it right there, you know, you can't believe anything the so-called white man tells you, man. You need to filter it through the spirits. You know, that's why you need the Holy Spirit to guide you through everything. This man is a damn liar and he holds his position in power by doing such lies, you know? Many people have believed this narrative that oh, Will Smith slapped this and that, you know, but it was all copied from a, from a whole mov movie, you know, and it does exactly how everything was acted in the movie, you know? This man is a damn liar, is a hypocrite, and this is how he maintains his power, you know, by the help of uh, our sold out brothers. You know now coming back from the plantation today i met with um i met with a friend you know who is an afghanistan you know i've seen him for a long time it's been quite a long time you know so just coming back you know we just we just you know jammed you know and he started telling me about he started telling me about afghanistan the situation right there and it was like the, the, the people that were causing the problem were the so-called were the Americans, you know. He said ever since they left, things have been going better, you know. He has family down there. And, he, and you know, it was surprising because, you know, watching on the TV here in Italy, they've been pushing that narrative that, you know, people are starving to death in Afghanistan ever since the Americans left. But the, the, the brother is telling me it's all totally different, man. That ever since those devils left things have been better you know he can just send a hundred euros down to his family and it's going to last them for about two months you know so you see you really need to be careful and one more point i want to bring out is do you think the so-called white man is going to take your slavery you know take away strip you off your 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 heritage and then later turn back and give you the true names that's going to save you if, you, if, that's, if that's what you think, you should better think twice, man. Okay? Think twice and pray to the Most High Yahweh Shemi Hashai to open your eyes. The name Jesus is a false name that can't take you nowhere. It was an invention of the so-called white man. You know? So, hey, I just wanted to bring this thing out. Hopefully, it was edifying to the spirits and power of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Hashai. Don't believe everything that they show you. Don't believe everything that's going on, you know? You need to filter through the spirit. That's why you need the spirit of the most. Tayyab Hashim Yashai to guide you through this time. Okay? Shalom.